Hi all, my name is Leah and I have completed quite a few virtual job interviews myself at the beginning of last year and have achieved a very nice success rate. In this video, I will share with you my top tips and lessons learned to help you successfully master your virtual interview and land your dream job as well. The first thing you should do when preparing for a virtual job interview is to check if you're having a proper and working tech setup with the following aspects. First, make sure to log in and test the meeting platform that will be used in the virtual meeting. Since the company you are interviewing with might use a platform that is new to you, make sure to familiarize yourself with the access and functionalities. Most likely you will already have the meeting invite sometime before the interview. So you can just use the link, log in and make sure you can access the meeting room and potentially change settings as well. Within the meeting room, make sure your camera properly connects and is working. Sometimes you're prompted to grant the platform access to your camera and that's what you should definitely approve. Also make sure to have a proper sound so you can hear the others as well as they can hear you. Sometimes the built-in speakers of a laptop are not great, which is why you might want to use an external speaker such as this one I have from Jabra, these Jabra headphones or just any other headphones or earpods that you have. And finally, make sure you have a proper and stable internet connection that day. If your internet is in general very unstable, you might want to consider going to a friend's place for the interview. Alternatively, you could set up a hotspot with your phone just that you have a backup plan to ensure connectivity. Having set up your equipment, you can move to your room and background. Due to the physical distance, your first impression in a virtual meeting is even more important. And that's partially attributable to your background. So don't rely on the ability to blur it within the meeting since that's often not possible if you only have guest access to that virtual meeting room. So rather make sure that you choose a location where you have a neutral background with muted colors and without any controversial pictures or slogans in the back. Also make sure that there's no window directly behind you since that might provide backlight which will make it difficult for the others to see you. Besides your room setup, your first impression is complemented by your own appearance, which can be optimized in a few different forms. To make the perfect first impression, obviously, you should not be late. If you have properly familiarized yourself with the meeting platform that you're using, you won't have any technical issues logging in on time. So I used to log in at least five to 10 minutes in advance of the start of the meeting, just to be sure everything is up and running. Also make sure you are properly dressed. Even though it's a virtual job interview and you're doing it from home, does not mean that you should wear your cozy homeware as well, at least not here at the top. So make sure to wear a proper shirt or blouse, maybe even with a jacket if you like or if the shirt only is too cold. As you know, there is no second chance for a first impression, so dress to impress. To further improve your impression, make sure to use body language during the virtual interview. And I know it might be weird since you're just talking to a screen, but I've made the experience that if you are using your hands, just as you would be doing in a real presentation, you can much better underline your statements and make them more powerful even within a virtual meeting. So try not to glue your hands to the keyboard or the mouse, but sit straight, upright, and make active use of your body language as well. Additionally, try to keep eye contact with your opposite by looking straight into the camera and not watching your own mirror image. Even though it might be quite challenging, eye contact improves the personal connection and thereby increases your likelihood to succeed. So I always wanted to see the interviewer's reaction and facial expressions as well. So I slightly decreased the meeting window and moved it up to the top of the screen such that I could look straight into the camera, but at the same time, watch my interviewer just below. Of course, preparation is key, regardless of having a virtual or an in-person job interview. But there are still quite a few nuances that differ and where you can excel in your virtual job interview. So besides the general interview preparation, you should try to familiarize yourself with the situation of doing a virtual job interview. Either just try to imagine that situation beforehand and build a mental model around it. Or set everything up as you'd be doing for the actual interview, including wearing proper clothes. Doing so, you will get into the mood of doing a virtual interview and put away your potential fear and respect from that new situation. Also make sure to prepare and learn some answers to standard interview questions. In the case of a virtual interview, 
It might also be the case that the job you are interviewing might also be partially remote and virtual. And that's why you should also prepare answers to questions that go into exactly that direction. So for example, questions like, how do you ensure smooth collaboration when working remotely? Or what is the major challenge you see when working remotely and how do you plan to mitigate that? Further, prepare a pen and a paper close at hand. It might be the case that you have to do a case study where you are allowed to use pen and paper. And if you didn't prepare, you would need to stand up and get it within the meeting, which might not be ideal. So having prepared both makes you come across professional and forward-looking. Finally, make sure to stay focused and engaged during the entire interview. If you're staring onto a screen, answering challenging questions might be quite exhausting, but try to keep your attention up until the very end of the meeting. First, you can do that by getting rid of any distractions within your flat or room. So mute your phone or turn flight mode on and put it away. Turn off any notifications or pop-ups on your computer, meaning you should also close your email program and ensure that there won't be any other noise. For example, if you expect a package delivery, maybe even leave a note at your door for the carrier to not ring the bell. And second, show sincere interest and engagement during the job interview. Of course, it's still an interview where primarily you are asked questions. But in a virtual setup, it's even more important to show some personality and open up. That can be done by asking questions to the interviewer as well. For example, about the current team setup and profiles, how you might fit into that picture, which projects are currently running or which tools are being used on a daily basis. Show interest, try to sprinkle some personal details here and there and try to create an open two-way communication instead of a monologue. Speaking of two-way communication, let me know in the comments if any of these tips have helped you to prepare for a virtual job interview. And if yes, I'd appreciate if you would subscribe to the channel and activate the bell. Thank you so much and see you next time.